Hello, everybody. Welcome to, back to Sport Federation TV. It's a Friday night. It's a fantastic opportunity to talk a little bit about what's happening in the world of sport in the Western Cape. It's one of those shows where we just we just talk, have a bit of chat. Um, I'm standing in for Lynette Chetty tonight. She's, of course, in uh, Johannesburg at the moment, where it's the Arnold Classic with something like 100,000 spectators going up to the Santon uh, Convention Center to go and watch a lot of different uh, sports codes um, uh, display their wares, so to speak, at the, the convention center. Then Yukta, of course, um, there with the Qus or the world of Q sports. So be looking forward to find out what she has to say next week when she's back. So hopefully um, keeping this seat warm and flying the flag for Sport Federation TV. Right, joining me now is um, Rock Sebastian, is the uh, assistant coach at Helderberg, as well as um, Byron Bierkes, uh, first team coach. Byron, welcome. Hi. Welcome to you as well. Likewise, sir. All right, you guys are going to have to speak up a little bit. You're so quiet. I just had some kids on the show that were speaking louder than you were. Oh, we just sit and wait. Yeah, right. <laughs> Marok, so tell me, how's the, how's the coaching going in Helderberg? Actually, it's going better. Like we said last time, struggled to get the guys down yeah. due to transport facilities. But um, now it's getting much better. And the guys is getting earlier. That's why we move our training schedule from midweek days to weekends. Yeah. And um, so they can make it all. Sometimes even school time, it's difficult as they come back late from school and projects and all that. Much easier and much better. And even um, the appearance, yeah, it's yeah. more motivated weekends than during the week. It's so, so it tired. sounds like you're starting to find your feet now. Yes, yes, definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Byron, uh, you're the first team captain. Um, are you happy with your players' performance at the moment? So far, we've done good. Uh, we've scored almost 28, we scored 28 goals all season long. That's good. In nine games, it's quite a lot. Half a we, season. We've been in half a season. We've been going well. It's been a slow climb, but we're getting there. Yeah. What would you say are your biggest challenges? Our bigger challenge. We're still getting to know each other. We are an extremely young team. I am the oldest player in the team at 23 years old, and that's fairly young. Yeah. So, yes, our bigger challenge is just getting to know each other better at the moment. And that and getting to know each other better is also going to have an impact on the field, on the game itself, yes, like practicing it would. your movement. It make us click better as a unit. Yeah. At the moment, it's not too bad, but we can still improve in certain areas. Sebastian, so how is it then that you guys have come out in, in the Helderberg League now? You're sitting at two or three in the league. Uh, you don't seem to be having a lot of time to practice. Um, what is it that, that worked? I think it's much of the hunger of the guys. Yeah. They have to prove themselves. And um, the communication is much better. What we implant on the practice field yeah. is like getting to know and see on the, on the playing games. So like... The captain said it's knowing to know each other better and it's improving much, much better now. There are some, there are some components though that you have to apply to, be yes. to, in, in, in the, in a, to be realistic. Uh, you've got to understand how to coach in the world of community sport. Mm. You don't mm. have lights, no. you struggle with field facilities, but yet you're being successful as a coach. Um, so you've got to adapt your coaching environment. Yes, definitely. Uh, what happens there is that Firstly, the guy's mentality must be right. Yeah. Even though mentally strong, then it's not going to work. And um, the hunger and even the commitment. So what the tactic we use is straightforward play and more like communication. Right, right. That is the most thing, to trust each other with the ball and communicate much better. Um, uh, Byron, let's go back to you. In terms of the other players, um, what's the sort of... Um the makeup of the team are the young guys, old guys. Uh, I'm the oldest in the team. You're All the of oldest. them are young, yeah. but the quality of football. I think it's the coaching staff that got us to where we are. Because to be honest, this is the best coaching staff I've been with at the club, and I've been at a few clubs before this. So, as a player, knowing your coach believes in you and mm. the drills he does with you that makes you feel better as a footballer. You take it to the field because you feel confident enough to take it out because your coach drilled it into you. The fact that you can do it. So when you go to the field becomes easy yeah it's like reading what about the moms and dads and parents and supporters are we it's growing quite uh, a few at first the f our first game it was a bit slow we had few parents but each game more and more parents keep coming keep coming to watch and we try to bring our girlfriends and our friends along you know get the fan base growing yeah sebastian um byron uh, morocco at least and sebastian we're going to leave it at that morocco listen best of luck at helderberg 
Uh, you're already having ticking the box success boxes there. We we know that you guys are going to keep doing well. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, and Thanks Byron, so to you and your team. Yeah, I'm sure they're all watching you tonight on on Federation TV, and you'll be on Facebook and everything. <laughs> you, you guys are going to be famous now. You know, congratulations. You, I, I you seem so. to have the right skills there. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. You have to get someone that's more motivated and can at least lead the case. Yeah. Well, it looks like you guys are, are are doing fantastic. That's exactly what we need. I mean, you're doing it under very difficult circumstances. Circumstances. As well, yes. Yeah. Mm. Right, folks, um, we're going to take an ad break. Um, when we come back from the break, we'll be speaking to the folks from the world of baseball. We're uh, doing pretty well in South Africa in the world of baseball, and we'll find out more about that after the break.